Hello friends. Welcome to our channel Instrument Calibration. In previous video, you have learned about, how to measure 4 to 20 mA output of transmitter. If you are new on this channel, and if you have missed that video, you can find link in the description box. And if you do not want to miss any informative video in future, then please subscribe this channel, and press bell icon to get notification when we post new video on the channel. In this video, I am going to explain ratio metric calculation formula for flow rate measurement of Siemens OCM3. First of all, let's learn how to access parameters of Siemens OCM3. As you can see from the picture that, you have to have Siemens remote controller to access parameters of Siemens OCM3. This Siemens remote controller need to be attached with OCM3 to access parameters and other functions. To access parameters, first of all, press P button of controller. Then press 1 button. When you see P1 on display, press up or enter button. As you can see, P1 parameters value will display on the screen. Note down this value very carefully. After this, repeat same steps to access P3, P4, P5, P6, P7, P46, and P47 parameters. Parameters P6 and P7 are very important for ratio metric calculation of flow rate. So, note down these values accurately. Since we need these values for calculation. As you can see from the diagram, Siemens OCM3 works on ultrasonic level measurement principle. So, OCM3 measures flow based on level of liquid in V-notch. In this diagram, P7 is maximum height of head which is also known as high cal point. In this example, this height is 58.59 cm. Now, measure the liquid level in V-notch from zero cal point. Let's assume that, this height is 30.49 cm. Now, we need value of maximum flow rate, which we get from P6 parameter. In this example, Maximum flow rate value is 40,000 meter cube per day. Lastly, we need value of exponent or U0. For V-notch or triangular type we're profile, exponent value is 2.5. If we're profile is rectangular or suppressed, then exponent value is 1.5. In this example, we're profile is V-notch type. So, exponent value is 2.5. Now, let's put all these values into ratio metric equation, and do the simple math calculation. As you can see, when you put all these values into equation, you will get flow rate value at that particular height. For example, flow rate value is 7814.39 meter cube per day at 30.49 centimeters height. If liquid level changes in V-notch, the flow rate value will also change. For example, if liquid level is 35.20 cm in V-notch, then flow rate is 11,190.72 cubic meter per day. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you like this video. If you have any questions about this video, please ask your questions in comment box. And if you need PDF version of this video, then please let me know in comment box. And if you think our content is informative for you, then please like and share this video with your friends.